Hi folks, and welcome to my match versus Psychomedic. I was very kind to wait for me a little bit because I was running late. And yeah, but here we go. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, let's look at the kingdom. Uh, And what do I have here? A vessel is the mouse. All right. <clears throat> right, spec shot off. Yep. <laughs> yeah. As if I remember correctly, there is something, uh, some uh, rules complications going on with the vessel mouse. All right. Well, anyway. Um, we have governor here, uh, masquerade, encampment. Uh, maybe you can in incorporate a leprechaun in into all of this, uh, if it's not, you know. But uh, it might be a bit too fast for this. But eh, we'll see. Uh, anyway, you probably just open masquerade. I wonder if it's caravan or silver. Uh, I'd go with caravan. You can also get an armory, that's a little bit greedy, I think. But yeah, the reason for army would be you probably want some caravans and some encampments, maybe. But yeah, I guess I'll take Caravan just because I don't necessarily want to hit five right away. It's not that important to get this governor uh, faster. Uh, he gets a sewer. I'll go ahead and take the Caravan. And that's a really nice draw for me. He gets his uh, Masquerade turn three as well. So that's good for him too. And goes ahead and gets the governor. I mean, the benefit of getting the governor early here is that you can gain the gold early and then you can save your encampments if you have any. Mm, not sure if it's all that relevant. So, here I can take a second masquerade and I'm kind of likely to hit five on the next uh, turn so I can get a city with that. Uh, yeah, I think I like it. And that's uh, that's really that's really good. Yeah, uh, see it is. So so far my shuffles were just perfect. Uh, he also takes a second masquerade. Uh, might get a city uh, with that. <clears throat> well, it just goes for the governor. Uh, well, that's slightly unfortunate, but uh, I mean, uh, it's okay. I'll just uh, get another caravan, I think. Get some gold. And now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Try and get as many governors as possible. All right. I, I mean, look at those draws. <clears throat> nice. Uh, so yeah, this definitely needs to be a governor. If he remodels, I'll get an armory here, I think, but uh, he won't. I expect to draw here with the two caravans in play. Yeah, 
if I get to see my governor, <clears throat> I might just uh, remodel for another one. Uh, he doesn't have any force. Yeah. Let's do it. So down there we have city, another mask, and uh, just a copper, I guess. Let's play it as a vessel, and it was a copper. It's okay. Uh, yeah. So he just trashed the copper. That's fine, and that's that's not a good turn for him. So he gave me a couple of silvers, I might try to remodel those. All right. Mm. It's nice to have this city because then it'll definitely activate. So let's get the, let's play the mask first. I might draw wonder if I should give him the estate here. So he's going to uh, remodel it into... Well... Into what? Like Harbinger? Uh, actually, it might be a Leprechaun at this point. I, I'm not sure if it's worth it. <clears throat> I think I'm going to draw with one of those governors. Let's give him a copper. And I'll just trash this day. It's okay. So. Maybe maybe drawing first made more sense because I mean, it, uh, it's just going to, remo uh, to kill the copper, right? Because there is not much else to, to do for him. He doesn't have any force, uh, of course, still. Uh, let's draw. Uh, do I want to make sure I get this last governor? I guess I don't have any states, right? So yeah, I can just play this caravan. And what are the last cards? Mm, another caravan and... Uh, Maybe a governor? Okay, it should be a mouse. Uh, yeah, play. And play. And uh, this will just get me a gold. Yep. Nice. Okay. That went uh, really nice. My caravans are all uh, played in the same turn, but that's not a big deal. Gets an encampment. All right. That's definitely a nice uh, card to have. We don't have the whole lot of coppers left. So he's uh, slightly ahead in, uh, in a number of golds. He has two right now to my one and he'll probably get more this turn. I'm happy to have uh, a little bit more draw. Well, actually, I mean, I have the city and I have those uh, caravans, so that's all good. Mm. At this point, I guess we ain't really getting any leprechauns, right? Because, mm, I mean, you can't, there is nothing you can remodel into leprechaun anymore. And uh, buying one is just a little bit uh, too expensive, I think. So he he's getting those uh, encampments. That's really good for him. Because, uh, I mean, you definitely will be able to keep them. So I need to remember that uh, another... Uh, Another city will give me three points. Mm. 
All right, more silvers. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and uh, get uh, this other city. I mean, it's just a, <laughs> it's a, it's a pretty good card to have, if nothing else. I'm not sure how did the governor split go. Mm. All right, I think we mm, it went even. Play the mask, yeah. All right. I might. Hmm. What I can do here, I can I can kill this masquerade. I can kill the masquerade. I can kill the silver, um, and I can actually buy the leprechaun. I wonder if it's really worth it to get the leprechaun because it might be a little bit awkward. Okay, so that was my last copper. He has nothing to trash, which is great. I mean, well, he still has a couple of coppers. Uh, so what now? <clears throat> uh, what's down there? Just uh, just those cities I gained and the silver. I can draw. I can try and draw the silver. I think I want to gain a gold and then draw. All right. Uh, now, what's the last card? Another city, right? Yep. <clears throat> so this uh, this silver can also tur be turned into a city, if I want that, and that looks reasonable. Uh, or I can just get a gold. Yeah, I can get a gold, buy the prawns and leave the city be. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Get the prawns. Okay, so I can mask him the masquerade, it's fine. I can also kill the caravan. Uh, so why do I have minus three? It's um, it's a masquerade. Yeah, you can have that now. Pretty happy to have those cities. I mean, he's 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 going to draw just fine with uh, three masquerades, and um, he has he has the actions to do that with the encampments. All right. Apparently, I only had one silver. Yeah, I need to need to count this uh, the silvers and golds. Uh, I have. I think I have three golds now. Hmm. 
So I think I should be perfectly able to get three provinces on my turn. <clears throat> Maybe even four provinces, but that, uh, well, it's not out of the question, I guess. All right, he was uh, able to vassal into his uh, governor. Yeah, it must be a little bit awkward for him right now because... Um, Yeah, how many provinces is he willing to take here? Anything uh, more than two? Uh, even even two provinces is a bit sketchy. And if you want to take less, then I mean, I'm just going to take them all. I mean, not all of them, but I'm going to try and, and take four and then, then it's going to be hard for him. Uh, he still has a mask to play, so I ain't going to... Well, actually, probably I should have been killing the caravan. Am I willing to do that? Uh, it's minus three points for me. And a little bit more draw potentially, but not on this turn, right? Yeah, I don't think I want to do that because I I think I only... Yeah, this coming turn will be my last more more likely than not oh wait a second he doesn't have another masquerade uh oh never mind <laughs> do all oh, right i i have zero masquerades that's that's the thing. Yeah, I, for some reason I thought I, I still have one, but I, I do not. All right, so it's a uh, triple prize for him. Hmm, okay. Uh, so what is my plan? Uh, if I get three prizes, how much... Uh, how many points it is? It's... Uh, like 16, uh, no, 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 18, and then uh, plus 3 actually, because uh, right now I only have one prize. So it's 21, and that's not quite enough. Mm. What else can I do? I still have this copper, but uh, I can't really uh, remodel it into anything uh, that will give me points, right? What are my other uniques? I don't think I have any. It's just the copper, right? And the bronze. Well, anyways, let's start drawing. Hmm. Do I play this caravan or do I... I might want to vassal it. So what if I, <clears throat> uh, if I remodel into three, I can, I need to remodel into three provinces and then get two more dashes. One dash is useless because of uh, Wolf Den. Hmm. So yeah, I need to play four of my governors as remodels. I, sadly, I don't think it's quite possible. Uh, let's play this as a uh, vessel. So um, maybe I should just draw here. Well, I definitely gonna need, gonna need to draw with one of those. So let's just go for it. Yep. Okay. Mm. Now. 
So uh, here are my governors. And uh, I have three model targets. And I need to find a gold. And uh, one of those last two cards is a city. If I hit it, I think I'm in a pretty good shape. Yeah. Uh, do I draw or do I... I don't need more money, really. Well, I, I do have another gold, right? It must be the last card. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think I'm good. Uh, let's go for it. <clears throat> so golds are all going to be gone. I wonder if he can score more. I don't actually. I don't think he has any uniques, and he can re, uh, remodel into Dashi, which, which yeah, which would be useless anyway. All right. Yay. Okay. Nice. And that was my second player game, so that's good. Uh, right, so I should be the first one. <clears throat> okay, let's look at this one. Uh, lots of ways to get additional victory points here, apparently. <clears throat> so, we have goons, which is the main thing, I guess. Uh, I get to open with a 5-2. Uh, we can trash with the Necro, with Miser, and more importantly with the Forge. So I guess it's just going to be Lighthouse. I mean, you, you want to get Lighthouses, obviously. Uh, lighthouse Falconer for me. Let's go with that. I need to remember that uh, Wolf Den is no longer on the board. <laughs> mm. So... Um, there is a nice interaction between Forge and Fortress, and also Necromancer and Fortress. Tower might uh, be important. Let's get the Falconer. Okay, that's just great. Mm. So, what should that be? I mean, I. <laughs> That's a really good draw. Mm, that can be a necromancer, right? And I can just trash whatever is down there, which is hopefully a hole. Mm, or I can just get a silver and buy something. Let's get the necromancer. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, do I want a second lighthouse right away? I... Mm. Let's get the settlers for now because I mean mm, nobody's getting uh, to goons right away, so those lighthouses ain't gonna be good for a while. Should it just be a lost city? I mean, we're gonna we're gonna get some. Let's let's get it. It's quite inevitable. He kills the necro. That's a good draw for him. He gets uh, gets. Damn it! He gets up to forge. Hmm. 
so what should I get here? Like another necro? It seems kind of, uh, I mean, uh, uh, well, that's a little, I mean, I guess I can just take a silver and another lost city. How about that? That doesn't sound terrible to me. Uh, so what's down there? My uh, lighthouse is down there. And did I have a hovel? Uh, yeah, so it's just a lighthouse and a couple of coppers. And no, I guess one of those cards is uh, Settlers. <clears throat> so if I reveal the Settlers, uh, I'll get up to five, which would be great. Otherwise, I think uh, Mason would be a poor choice here. Let's let's just spy. Okay, great. Uh, I leave the. Oh no! Wait, I need to discard that. Yeah. And the last one is a lighthouse. Oh, never mind. It's uh Damn it! Uh, lost city. It's okay. I'll yeah. It's okay to trigger that, and I'll just get the goons here. Wonder if he gives me a card here. Yep. All right. <clears throat> uh, wait, actually, I'm not sure I want to play this necro, right? I might as well uh, trash it. And maybe get to, uh, up to a forge this turn. The other option would be to play Necro as a spy, and I can discard the copper and still get it with the settlers. Hmm. Mm. Probably let's just kill the Necro. All right, that looks great. So I can get a, I can get a fortress. Right, I, or I can get a second necromancer here and trash another copper, or like a hole. Trashing a hole looks uh, very good. Let's attack him. You don't really need to get all the lost cities, right? Because you can. Uh, draw a little bit with Necromancer, Trash into Fortress and whatnot. Uh, yeah, I think I like the Necro. Well, didn't trash the hole, but uh, it's okay. So Forge and um, I guess at this point another Lighthouse. Yeah, looks good. So, yeah, so far my draws has been uh, really nice. <clears throat> and yeah, that's not a good turn for him. Gets a fortress, okay. Uh, I mean, I'm just uh, gonna play it as a spy. And yeah, sure. Well, that's not uh, the greatest turn ever. It could be a uh, second goons, or it could be like fortress settlers. Mm. Think I think about the thing about fortress is I can easily gain it with the falconer. Let's get the goons. So he's extremely likely to get the goons this turn. I mean, that's what he wants to do, so I can trigger the uh, falconer, so that's great.
and I'll just get the fortress here definitely I'm gonna pick uh, five cost with trash and the OG and the fortress so it really looks good for me now So yeah, he draws the deck. Maybe he can even uh, gain and play the goons. Oh wait, I don't. I don't think he, he can actually draw another card here. Yeah, I don't think that's an option for him. He only has one uh, one settlers, one fortress, one lost city, and one necromancer, right? So yeah, he can't draw another card. So you might be able to uh, forge into goons. I mean, no, he can. I mean, yeah, he doesn't have anything left to forge. And most of these cards must be coppers. He has one silver, and that's it. Yeah. Hmm. So he's not in a very good place here, I think. All right. Yeah, that that doesn't sound very good. Uh, okay, let's play the Lost City. Play the Settlers, I guess. Would be really nice to draw to these goons again. And I'm likely to do that. So Necro the, uh, branches this fortress, right? Yeah, that looks really nice. Now, um, now I do want to forge the. F I don't want to gain another lost city, right? That sounds good to me. That it'll give him another card, but he's likely to draw anyway, so I don't care all that much about it. Uh, yeah. Another lost. Uh, should I get another falconer? Actually, mm, I don't know. Let's get the lost city instead. So what's uh, what's left down there? Another goons. Uh, I think I'm just going to spy this one. Okay, play a single lighthouse. I think. He's not defended, that's good. And probably I'll just get more goons, right? Mm, yep. Well, that's slightly underwhelming, but... He might, he might still give me a card. Although then again, I, I don't, I don't think uh, he, yeah, it, he's probably not getting more lost cities this turn because that's not what he needs. Mm, he really needs goons right now. He could have been forging settlers and fortress into goons. I wonder if uh, fortress was uh, his last card. Get the falconer. Uh, he might just need another silver here. His last. Yeah, he can't even get up to six. Uh, 
His last card is a silver, right? Yeah. Gets a fortress and like buys a silver or buys. Uh, I, I'm a little bit confused. Why didn't he buy anything? All right. Just more goons here. I can I can go. Do I really need more goons, or I can go with something like forest settlers? Uh, does it even help me? Mm. <laughs> I think getting more goons right now is, might be like a little bit greedy. Let's let's do it this way. Sadly, no falconer in hand. So I do have two coppers down there. I think I'm pretty much drawing the deck here. Uh, I still have another lost city down there and I have my uh, Zombie Apprentice down there. So, yeah. He gets, uh, gets goons now, all right. Can trigger his Falconer. Sadly, he ain't gonna trigger my Falconer, but can't really complain. <laughs> I wonder what was the story with the mouse vessel, because probably there was some story, and I have a mm, I vaguely remember something about mouse vessel. I think there is some rule, some ambiguity, or something like that. Oh, never mind. I have a silver. I had the silver all the time, and I thought he has the silver. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So he gets his second goons now. Uh, yeah, let's play the settlers. I still have some coppers to kill. Now. And I do still have my hovel here. And here it is. So, what I can do here, uh, I can uh, get another falconer. How about that? Uh, I think I, I think I, I think it's good to have another falconer. Let's go for it. And here I'll just uh, take another fortress. I mean, okay, so he can trigger, he can trigger his falconer, it's okay. Because actually, uh, the piles are kind of low, right? And. Um, Having a lot of those uh, fortresses would be really nice. Uh, now, what's your face? Don't be apprentice. Yep. Mm. So we just join now. Yeah. Uh, do I want to mason something? I'm not. So there is one copper, uh, one goons, and. Uh, and I don't know what else. And the lighthouse. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to necro this. Mm, last one is a lighthouse. 
All right. Uh, so what do I want to gain? Might be just the silver. Uh, it's a little bit silly. I can't really uh, do anything meaningful with this uh, necromancer. All right, whatever. Uh, so what will the silver give me um, if I choose to pick one? Um, So Psycho missed the Necromancer's Necropolis, apparently. And now I gave him the hint. I might just get a Fortress here. Or I can hit 11 on... Hmm. Let's get a Silver. So, gonna get more Goons. That's for sure. Now, I can go with another Lost City and Settlers, and I think I like that. I can also get another Forge, but that feels a little bit too greedy. All right. Okay, that looks like a good enough of a hand. I am quite comfortable with the points lead. I don't really think at this point uh, getting the Lost City uh, is a drawback because they are, they are extremely likely to draw anyways. It's really hard for his deck to stall here. And um, also, mm, I do have four out of five, right? So tower points going to be in my favor. And yeah, the thing is, uh, between all our falconers, the fortresses are gonna run in no time, and then, mm, then the piles are basically gone, with the goons almost gone, and you know lighthouses are mm, really easy to get. So I should be doing great here. Because the thing is, he won't really be able to get the whole lot of use out of his goons now. Because uh, all the cheap stuff is gone. And oh, hey, that's a falconer. Um, fortress, right? Yeah, sure. I mean, I should be quite at ease now with uh, just uh, slowly lowering the piles while scoring uh, some points because I, I, I really have a very significant points lead. I might consider getting another goons here uh, mid-turn by trashing uh, Fortress and uh, Settlers into Goons. Okay, it's a Lost City, Necromancer and some Coppers. All right. Okay, uh, let's draw. And uh, let's just uh, apprentice uh, this fortress right away. And draw more. Uh, I can play one of 
those settlers, right? Well, actually, I can play the necro as uh, as what you call it, the uh, zombie spy, uh, because I'm I'm probably ain't gonna use it in any meaningful way otherwise. So let's do that. Uh, sure, top deck the fortress doesn't really matter. Now. <clears throat> I feel a little bit laggy here. Damn it. All right. There is something wrong with my internet connection, so I'll try to hold spots on instead. Which is quite annoying. All right. Um, yeah, looks like we are back. Okay. Mm. So uh, I don't. I don't think I, I'm willing to take the Proans in this turn. So play two of those settlers. Play this uh, and get a fortress. Play the lighthouse. Now I might be able to trigger the falconer again. Which I guess doesn't really matter, but whatever. So forge all of this into another copy of goons. Trigger the falconer. Get the forders, I guess, for whatever it's worth. Can I actually... Uh, wait a second. Actually, I can, I can trash the goons into goons here with the, another necromancer. Mm, does it win me the game somehow? Hmm. I wonder. Uh, okay, let's try and count that. So I, I'll be able to play five goons here. So that's um, 10 coins plus so that's 16 coins. Uh, and what? Five buys? Well, it's not quite enough to empty, but... I feel like Necromancer is just a slightly better card in the deck at this point. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's do it. I mean, oh hey, I can get another Forge. Uh, yeah, probably just the goons. Huh, that's a lot of goons. So uh, how about just uh, getting those piles? I mean, I can just load on points here. That's one thing I can do. Um, the Uh, yeah, it could be just double bronze and a couple of coppers. It might be terrible if I stole though. Uh, but then again, he can't really, he can't really empty the piles on me because, because tower. I feel like this 
like never loses, right? I mean, well, that doesn't look good though. <laughs> this this definitely doesn't look good. I mean, yeah, I I could be in trouble here, but then again, what is he going to do? Hmm. So I have five goons, uh, so he only has three. He might get four uh, goons number four mid-turn. Uh, well, actually, I guess he doesn't have any more settlers. So it, it ain't going to be easy for him to forage into goons. Mm. So he probably ain't going to be scoring all that much. I mean, obviously, uh, yeah, yeah, he can he can score a lot, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Maybe buying those coppers were, was a little bit greedy, but hmm, hmm. I mean, thing is, what happens? What happens if I stall now? Mm. He forges into forest, uh, into bronze. Okay. Kills a necro too. Okay. So now we can play necro as necro. Oh, wait a second. I gave him... Uh, yeah, I kind of... <laughs> uh, that's a little bit silly because I kind of totally blanked out on this aspect of trash and the goons that goons are now in the trash pile, so you can play necro as goons. And that's probably slightly more beneficial for him, although it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, you don't put the goons in play, but... Mm, all right. Gets the states. All right, let's see what we can draw. Well, so far, not too exciting. Mm. Should I forge uh, this fortress? <clears throat> oh yeah, that is scary. Uh, I mean, uh, what is the best thing I can do with my forge? I think, in fact, I kind of want this. Line. Yeah, you know what? Let's just let's just go for it. Yeah, because I think I do have more fortresses than he does. So now I can get a necromancer and uh, trash these goons and try and draw more. Because it, I mean, if I if I draw everything, I I just pile. But mm, uh, 
Uh, what's my other option? I don't know. I feel like it might be the best of... I mean, also I can just get a lighthouse and... I don't know, buy a silver or something. But then I'm afraid he might... Yeah, I think I need to go for it. All right, let's go for it. Uh, zombie branches. Yeah, Lost City. Now... Um, so, if I find a falconer, I will need uh, 14 coins. Well, damn it. Um, Forge is played already. Uh, Fortress, uh, yeah, I need to play this. I can just uh, play those necros as two goons. Let's play the lighthouse. Uh, so that's going to be, well, it ain't going to be enough. Let's buy this one. Okay, nice. Yay. Let's, let's draw the whole lot. Okay, that, that looks much better. Yep. And, yep. So, uh, Falconer, definitely a Necromancer. Now, uh, is that enough? So it's uh, like six, eight, no, it's not enough. Uh, so, well, what do I have left here? Uh, now, Mason might get me there. Uh, what's the worst case? Actually, most of my cards cost uh, three at least, right? Mm. I think I just mason here. The only card I think that doesn't cost enough is uh, Settlers. What did I trash? A Lost City. Yeah, that works. All right, so uh, I got there. Nice. All right, so far so good. So uh, he's going to be the first player now. Maybe my pro answers were just awful. I I don't know. All right, let's let's look at the next one. So, yep, here it is. Some ruins. Uh, we have gamble here. Mm. Bandit fort. Uh, So it kind of looks like you want, I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward, right? Uh, plenty of draw, plenty, uh, you know, good trashing, uh, extra gains with the council room and university. And uh, bend it forward as if anybody, anybody cares. But also we have conspirators for additional economy and like our other... Um, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, so he gets a potion. I think I agree with that. Mm. It's probably just silver potion. Getting up to five would be really nice. Yeah. Uh, that's not good. Uh, he has a good draw here. 
It might be either Seer first or Junk Dealer first. I mean, it's actually not obvious to me whether Seer is better than Hunting Party. Probably, I mean, later in the game, you're gonna have the whole lot of conspirators and some schemes and whatnot. So, Seer is gonna be like really good. As the first five, yeah, I I, I kind of get it. So what do I get here? Uh, uh, probably a scheme. I, I I wonder if I should gamble for some reason. Uh, I probably shouldn't. There are a number of uh, situations. Okay, so we got like a really, really good uh, draw there. Um, what uh, What is my last card? I, I need to... I, sh I should be able to know, right? Um, it's a copper, right? So I, I should just play it. Okay. It gets a scheme. I can't really gamble here, so let's just get the uni. All right. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm definitely slightly behind because I didn't hit five on my uh, first shuffle, but it's it's okay. Um, now... Mm. Just get a junk dealer. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not quite sure whether a junk dealer is better as the first five in comparison to say Seer or let's let's go with the junk dealer. Now, uh, how many estates did I have the last turn? Uh, there is still quite some estates down there. What do I want to buy? Just a scheme, probably. Hmm. And, all right. Yeah, it's a bit less than ideal, but. That's a nice gamble for him. Um, let's uni. Do I want a second junk dealer? I feel like I might need it. I'm not sure on that. And probably a hunting party first. All right, let's gamble. Discarded an estate. Nice. All right. So I do have a single hunting party and two junk dealers. And I do have three universities or is it only two? No, in fact, I only have two, I think. Um, yeah, he's in very far ahead here, sadly. Gets a council room. All right. Well, I can scheme my schemes. Uh, let's gamble. Play this junk dealer. <clears throat> No, can I gamble again? Damn it. Um, uh, 
I must have another uni down there and it might be just better to try and gain a five qu I mean do I have an estate down there I don't have any more no never mind I still have two estates okay I need to I need to find out hmm I discarded one and uh, I don't have any estates down there I think it's another uni and like a copper let's gamble yeah okay uh, scheme the junk dealer no it was not a uni it was just coppers huh he drew me a card mm. maybe maybe my additional investment in trashing will pay off but I don't think it's going to matter. I think he's just killing me here. Obviously, um, you still you really need to be careful here with the with the piles because uh, um, the number of gains per turn is uh, very high. But I don't think he's going to mess it up. I'm gonna start he's going to start going into conspirators pretty soon I would expect mm, his last card is probably a potion yeah uh, he doesn't want another uni I think with the with the amount of draw you actually want as many units as possible just because it's so much uh, control over the end of the game and sadly I can't really mm, draw more here Kills the potion, doesn't want more unis. He must have four. He's going to be drawing me a card. We'll probably get the last hunting party although i mean i guess it doesn't you know hunting party split definitely doesn't matter because of all the draw there are council rooms and seers and whatnot gains a scheme interesting i mean obviously scheming your draw is a nice way of uh, you know preventing bad th things from happening and uh, looks like he's drawing here quite comfortably yeah And he goes ahead and starts uh, green, and that's pretty reasonable. Uh, he should probably gamble there. Uh, 
Hmm, he should have been gambling for uh, a 50% chance of top deck in this year. Well, anyways, let's... Um, Draw a bit more. Hmm. Yep, doesn't look good. Uh, should I kill the potion? Uh, I don't know. I think at this point my... <laughs> I only have an off chance to do something with this game by maybe somehow piling out. Uh... Let's gamble. It was in the state, so it was a good call. Uh, I, I mean, I had no no idea that it's in a state down there, but uh, it went good. All right, so I'm extremely likely to draw everything here, but it's a little bit too late mm, because he's going to be getting two more pronounces here and, and then some. Yeah, I, I, I kind of, I, I think my only like questionable decision uh, here was um, to go for a second junk dealer, but actually, it felt like by the time it was, it didn't really matter already because um, he had a much better uh, uh, first shuffle and it, yeah. And uh, obviously he's a very good player, so he, from this position, he did not mess it up and just played it uh, very nicely. All right. Uh, not sure about the order here. Let's do it this way, maybe. Uh, top deck the hunting party, skip the copper. Uh, Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Actually, I have no clue uh, in which order uh, it is better to play those. I guess uh, should have been playing hunting parties first because the last one didn't draw me anything. Uh, let's get some conspirators. Uh, oh wait a second! I only no, I I, I must have more units, right? Uh, do I want the council in here? I probably don't because. Uh, I can't really give him cards. Uh, maybe should have been trash and a copper there. Uh, yeah, let's undo that. Not the copper, but the, the potion. Let's get this council room now. Uh, what's the last card, I wonder? I have no idea, to be honest. <clears throat> mm. I'm not sure about getting the seer, but also I don't think it really matters. Yeah, okay, uh, let's top deck some, actually let's top deck just a couple of hunting parties. All right. He should be able to pile on me here. Yeah. Yeah, he, he has the gains. He has another unit to play and then he buys triple seer. Definitely has enough money to do that. Alright. Uh, we'll let him play it out. Okay. Uh, 
All right, well played by him. So, uh, I'm gonna be the first player, and I'm gonna be right back. So here is the next kingdom. <clears throat> uh, and we have some crazy Renaissance stuff in face of sculptor and inventor. Uh, we also have wafers. So it looks like those ghost towns going to be quite important. Uh, I wonder if Armory puts the ghost town in hand. Maybe Psycho knows. Yeah, if somebody from the uh, voice chat can uh, knows, uh, you can jump in and tell. All right, because uh, it kind of matters uh, if the armory puts the ghost town on top of the deck then it's not all that great. I mean, you probably want the armory anyway here. Uh, well, all right, we're gonna start with the pixie, I think. Oh, wait a second. Uh, actually, why, why the hell am I even considering armory, right? Who the hell needs that? Of all, <laughs> I mean, you just, you just open with inventor and forget this uh, armory thing is on the board, right? Mm. I would think so. I would think that should be the correct approach. Trash is a copper, so he has a five. He has a bad five too. Uh, it's a pixie. Uh, just a second inventor, right? And yeah. Okay. Mm, those ghost towns are gonna be quite important. You might at some point get a prince, but 
Uh, this game might be uh, too fast for it. Plus one card at the end of the turn. Yes, please. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, now let's get this ghost down. Do I get a wafer? Mm, do I get a wafer? Uh, I won't really be able to play it. That's the problem. I might just get another ghost town to be uh, fair. Yeah, I'm only playing two terminals the next turn. Uh, and I don't have any way of gaining and playing the next turn. It could be could be like a pixie now. Might be better to just get a pixie. Because I'm probably just drawing... Yeah, I, I, think I, I think I should go for that. Oh, maybe maybe it was just very bad. I kind of overestimated the amount of draw. Yeah, now it looks really bad. I was I was kind of thinking that with the uh, with the ghost town and uh, two cards from the pixie, I will uh, just draw everything uh, handily. But it looks like I miscounted that. Well, it, it's probably going to be good, right? <laughs> Unless I bottom deck both, both my uh, inventors. Unless I bottom deck both of them, I, I should be fine. Uh, he took the Earth Gift, uh, that's another good one, I'd say. So Patrician is going to be uh, pretty unimportant here. They just, uh, they, they'll never draw anything. And Pixies are just... Uh, better to get, I guess. Gets away for, okay. Uh, all right, here's the first inventor. Uh, I don't need the gold. I can get a, I can get a change link if but I guess I'd rather just have a pixie. Uh, one thing I can do here, I can get up to Prince. I can buy a Prince here, but that looks terrible, right? Because then I'm not uh, getting a ghost town. Yeah, all right. Oh, let's just get a ghost town, trash the copper. And um, I think I like Forum Ghost Town. I mean, Wayfarer is nice, but mm, I think I like this way better. Oh, that's a, that's a very good boon. That's like the best one. If he finds his... Uh, in, if he finds both his inventors here, he's like in a really good shape. But it's only one, which is still pretty, pretty damn good. Mm, he definitely need, uh, needs uh, at least one ghost down.
What I can try and do here, I can just get all those ghost towns. Well, I won't be, I won't really be able to get all of them, right? Uh, do I play a pixie first? Uh, second so trash. Is it worth it? I don't think it's worth it. Ah, oh, well, damn it. <laughs> Bottom deck the gold. All right, well, it ain't great. All right, let's... Uh, one of those is definitely going to be a ghost town. And... I can get something like a sculptor. Is sculptor even good, actually? Hmm... I mean, it is good, but uh, might be just so I'm going to buy another forum and go down. I kind of like winning the Ghost Town split. It, it it feels rather important because you ain't really getting any villagers from Sculptor. You ain't mm, stockpiling the villagers definitely. So Prince is very expensive, and you really want to play a lot of turtles. I think those Ghost Towns are really important. So let's just get more of those. Um, and I'm probably good to just play three of them. <laughs> uh, I'm extremely likely to draw. Yeah, yeah, I think it's it's good. So this turn I'm gonna try and uh, get another inventor. All right, he was only. Uh, that looks actually. I, I feel I'm in a pretty good shape, right? He. Uh, so Yig is gonna have less uh, terminal space. Uh, he already has those wafers, and at this point, I would I definitely like my forums more. Uh, he can windfall if he wants to. So. These four cards, two of them are ghost towns, and one of them is inventor, and he still has an estate apparently. All right. Well, I also do. Um, yeah, it's. It feels slightly awkward. I mean, what is he going to do now? Uh, I think it would have been really good for him to get up to Prince here, if possible. Because mm. right now he can't really afford himself to... He can't really afford himself to get more uh, terminals. So he gets Forum and Pixie or something. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, Pixie first, I guess. Uh, Is it worth it? 
Am I? I mean, okay. Uh, given the option, am I going to buy the prints? That's a pretty good question. Mm. I expect to play three inventors this turn. So Prince is going to be costing five. Well, and hmm, I think I, I think I want to do it. If even if not for buying the prince, I can, I can get more of those forms. Yeah, I think it's worth it. All right, uh, let's discard those. Oh, never mind. I oh, st that was so silly to discard this stupid, uh, what you call it, state. It's all right. So, uh, get another. Uh, I guess I want the inventor, right? Now, should I get a wafer? I probably, probably it's about time to do that, actually. And I feel like that should just be forum pixie. Uh, could be a change link. Hmm. How about that? I don't know. Let's let's keep the forum. So I can have I can play four terminals in a turn. Uh, Will wisps are freaking amazing. That's uh, definitely a, an extremely good boon here. Because you can you can try and play play them after you played a couple of inventors. I mean, it's definitely a, a slightly more viable for me because I have more terminal space, but it's still pretty damn good for him too. Mm. Now. So the piles are pretty low. I shouldn't be probably looking at even looking at the prince now. Because mm, I don't think we're gonna have the whole lot of turns left uh, so that I could uh, actually benefit from that. Probably the thing that's really going for me is that uh, he gets the points. Yeah, I think it's correct. I think the thing is um, Forum is actually a very likely pile to run. Uh, it, it should be easy for me to do that. And uh, he doesn't really have the time for for the prince now, so I, I think I should also go ahead and get the prince. Well, uh, let's start with getting the silver, I guess, playing the wafer. I can change in that, mm. but I might probably I'll yeah probably I want the silver right. 
I don't think I, I want to trash this state at this point. Uh, we're gonna do it this way. Now put another pixie down there. <clears throat> now I can get another forum. Uh, is that scary? He can only play two inventors. Uh, out of the three boons, he can still um, he can get the silvers. So it is a little bit scary because of changelings and whatnot. But still. I don't think he'll be really able to uh, do with this number of um, uh, forms left. Uh, yeah, I think it's okay for me to get another form here. Let's play the pixie now. Gain a silver. Mm. Yeah, I'll take it for the change links, right? Oh, wait a second. Why didn't me? Why didn't it offer me? Oh, never mind. I know why. Because it's uh, not expensive enough. Uh, should I undo that? Hmm. Let's undo that. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not quite sure. I want those silvers. Maybe it. Maybe it's okay to have them, but. Uh, I'll keep that, it's fine. Oh wait, actually, I don't have enough for prunes, right? Uh, should I undo again? <laughs> mm, buying the prunes looks like a very good idea to me. All right. Uh. Yeah, it's it's slightly less than ideal. I'm not trashing. Uh, yeah, whatever. I can just take the... Well, actually, I, I should probably just take a gold here, right? Okay. Well... Yeah, I, I feel like I'm mm, I haven't been trashing for the last couple of turns or so. That's not good. Still feel I'm in a pretty good shape here, but uh yeah, this hand doesn't look too promising. Good thing is I I do have four of those forms. How many pixies does he have? Not the whole lot. So um, there are only three between us, and uh, well, he actually has two of them. So the last boon, I think, is not uh, does not give any gains. I'm I'm not quite. It, it's either a moon gift or something like that. But uh, it is, he potentially can uh, have another one. Or, yeah, it's a plus card one. 
uh, which might be worth it for him. So he, he, uh, he gained the last pixie. All right, so he didn't get the good boon here. That's, uh, that's great. Doesn't have any changelings. Uh, can still play another inventor, but he won't have enough money to pile the forums. I don't think. I'm not even sure what he gains here, like a dashi, yeah, that makes sense. Hopefully I did not bottom deck all my forums and wayfarer. All right. Um, discard those. Oh, God damn it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that looks pretty bad. Yeah, because now my next turn is going to suck. Okay, let's uh, probably go for the money here. It might matter. Can I pile here? Uh, so say if I, how much money do I do I have? That looks like eight to me. It's probably not quite enough. So if I get a uh, state duchy duchy, and then buy a province, uh, state Dutch. Uh, so if I just state duchy province, state duchy province. That's. Uh, Enough. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. State Dutchy Prince. So I can gain, with my inventors, I can gain a state, Dutchy, and forum. And then forums. Uh, but it's not enough money, right? Uh, yeah, because forums going to be costing, what, uh, two coins? The price is going to be at five. Yeah, it's, it ain't enough. Well, that's a pity. Mm, yeah, that's really sad that I was not able to draw there. Uh, just need to load on those dashes, I guess. Forum and primes. Do I even take the forum? I guess I do. But, ah, damn it. Mm, maybe, I mean, I can't really complain, right? Because I didn't, I did top deck some crap and it was probably avoidable. But uh, it's pretty sad that all my good stuff bottom deck down there. And the, the worst part of it is that I did not play enough ghost towns. Mm, that's a good one at this point. Mm. I would be surprised if he's if he would be able to pile on me this turn. I wonder, I think he has the last two pixies, but I'm not sure. 
All right, so he keeps drawing. He just played inventor first so that uh, Will Wisp can draw uh, more. That's not a very exciting boon, but it might be good enough for him uh, if he has like. Uh, yeah, I mean, it might be pretty good actually. Yep, he goes for it. So there is only one pixie left. But uh, if it if it is a plus by pixie, that might be extremely important. So this turn is going to suck for me, sadly. All right, it's uh, it's silvers and uh, I mean you don't want that really. So you can get another forum with inventor, and then, well, I I still think it's not enough. Right, so three forums in the pile, and um, they're gonna cost three, but he won't be able to get all the forums and the prize. Maybe I should have been getting a second wafer at some point to decrease the chances of uh, uh, missing on the draw. Alright, so he didn't play his uh, other uh, inventor. And just buy the prize. Okay. <clears throat> well, uh, am I sometimes not playing this wafer? I think I always play this wafer, and I never, never gain the silver. So let's just start with that. Yeah, I bottom deck three forums in the wafer. That's just terrible. All right, mm. play the patrician, I guess. Hey, that's a good patrician. So my goal this turn is to buy a province and put as many ghost towns in play as possible. Which is apparently three. Um. What do I even gain here? Could be an estate, uh, probably doesn't make any sense, right? It could be a changeling. Mm. Which actually, I mean, it's. I think it's either changeling or patrician. <laughs> Let's go with the changeling. I can kill the copper, right? Yeah. All right, so we back uh, back on the track, and uh, uh, I have the change link now. So if I draw that, I can uh, maybe uh, pile the forums. Um, and yeah, at this point, again, it's uh, it's rather awkward for him because he can. Mm -hmm. 
if you get the duchies, uh, then I can get the rest of the duchies. Um, if he gets the bronze, I can get the bronze and some that Yeah, I mean, it is an awkward position for him right now. And then again, he knows that I have uh, three ghost towns in play, so my turn is supposed to be nice. And seeing those two forums in hand, I pretty much expect it to be nice. Uh, we still have the whole lot of uh, coppers left. Uh, I think the only thing that's really going for him right now is his uh, pixie. And I mean, it might somehow make a difference. Say, if he plays both his inventors and gains like what? <clears throat> Mm, well, apparently that's what he gains. Oh, all right, he, uh, so he does not see the pixie. Uh, what is he going to buy here, though? Just another dashi. Then, if I find all my inventors, I just win, right? Uh, if I find two of them, uh, well, two of them ain't enough. Oh, really? He has the forum. Uh, well, that's definitely making it easier for me, right? Uh, yeah. I don't think it's good for him to take this forum. But I mean, all the options are kind of not very good, to be honest. Um, I wonder if getting the prince uh, the turn where he got the first prize was actually um, a thing to do for him, knowing that the game lost in um, quite a few turns since then. Maybe maybe somehow it would have been a better play for him, but I actually am not so sure about that. Uh, it definitely seemed like it, uh, it would be very slow. All right, take the forum after all. Uh, let's try and draw. Hey, that's a good start. Uh, what do I want? I. Well, basically, I want to find my... I think I just discard... Yeah, I think it should be pretty much over. Oh, I don't gain the sewer. I don't need that. I think I pretty much have it in hand now. Uh, yeah, estate. And then we take the duchy. Then we take the forum and then um, buy the last two, and that's it. And it's about time we mute somebody. Yep, like that. <laughs> All right. So that's good. I think I think this one uh, involved a lot of uh, first player advantage in my favor. And uh, getting those uh, um, the ghost town split I think was very important. All right, let's look at the next one. 
can see some displays reds goodness wonder if that's going to be the play mm, also way of the horse and uh, no reds so <clears throat> but i guess yeah i guess you mm, just open with bounty hunter because of uh, it's even better than usual here with the shelters. We also have the... We get to start with the lab. Mm. So, yeah, here's your like engine which can do pretty much everything. You have trashing, you have uh, draw, you have gains like everything you might want except for the attacks i guess it's, i mean you can you can open with igg but uh, that doesn't sound too attractive this place in the opening doesn't sound too attractive either and um, i'm not even sure i mean it might be just rats Might be just rats to be honest, because you're gonna be hitting five again. Hey, I, hey, that's just mean. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think getting the IGG is very good, and it's definitely very mean. Uh, all right. Should I return the favor? I mean, um, I think I'm just going to get the rats. So, uh, what's uh, what? Do I hit five the next turn? I mean, that should be the question, right? Uh, and I think I do, right? I uh, bounty hunt my uh, overgrown estate, and then I have two coppers. Uh, yeah, so I do want rats and displays. And I mean, this curse, whatever. I think it. I think it would have been better for him to have a better card in the deck than to give me a curse. Okay, well, that's, uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's not a good draw. It's pretty stupid, actually. Uh, I can horse it, but, uh, uh, I don't want to. Probably I let's display the whole uh, displace the whole into fishing village and buy another fishing village. Uh, less than ideal, but oh well. Um, yeah, sure. Let's discard the necro because it's a it's it's a laboratory in disguise actually. You should buy this place now. Well, probably that's what he does. Yeah. Okay. Uh, necro. Then should I keep the curse to exile it, or I probably should, right? I I don't gear. I don't really care about the point. Yeah, uh, it's probably better to do it this way. Okay. Mm. Now what? So now I actually have uh, some terminal space. I think uh, Invo is the best card for me. I will never get the pronunciation right here. I, it's probably Envoy or something like that. Mm. Exiles his IgG here and can't buy the whole lot. So that's good. Mm, he probably wants the rats here, actually. Gets a gold, really. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna play uh, rats here and see what happens. Well, 
But then again, it's uh, less than ideal, but probably gonna horse this other rats now. Okay. Uh, I don't care about those. It is slightly annoying that I can't really find any nice displays targets. Mm, maybe I should have been displacing the bounty hunter. I can displace the copper into a state. And it it's probably worth it because I'm going to bounty hunt it anyway. And let's get the market. All right, that's that's a good start. <clears throat> this gold felt really weird to me. Uh, let's uh, discard his displays. Uh, he, he can draw it, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, he can if he... If he horse his bounty hunter. Yeah, I mean, I'm... Honestly, I'm slightly puzzled by this gold. Mm, let's just run away first. I want my reds to multiply. Uh, so sure, let's go for that. Uh, now I'll play the necro. Now I can displace the rats into uh, probably another displays, right? I mean, it's definitely a very good card for me. Uh, yeah. Now. Kill the copper and then I displace the state. Yeah. Uh, I can buy another uh, fishing village here. It would be a good card for me. Yeah, it all sounds good. Uh, now, what do I gain for four? Could be a conspirator. Could be another envoy. I feel like Conspirator is okay. Uh, this is a little bit sketchy, but then again, I can horse the rats. Mm. I have uh, three rats in my deck, so that's uh, a good amount. Honestly, uh, so far, he's playing this exact game uh, is a little bit puzzling to me because uh, this IgG was very weird, uh, this gold was very weird, and he didn't get any reds, which I think is pretty damn good here. Let's horse the rats, right? Uh, this conspirator activates. So I bottom decked my envoy, which uh, isn't great. Uh, rats can become uh, gold now. The last card is a red. Uh, 
I feel like it would be really nice to actually get a lot of rats here, right? So what I should try to do, I should turn all my stuff into cantrips and um, Yeah, let's displace the bounty hunter into like market or like a conspirator. Let's get the market, I guess. Now, I should have been horse in this envoy. Yeah, I. That was a mistake. I can sacrifice my second displace. Because, yeah, getting those additional rats should be like really good, I think. In fact, I can get the whole pile and it's still gonna be pretty good. Uh, I'd rather uh, let it go with Dignity and horse it. Maybe there was a way to avoid this. Let's discard it from Exile too. Okay. Uh, so... If he wanted to gain some reds, he ain't getting any. Uh, let's get the, another fishing village and Anwai. <laughs> Such a welcoming sight. Uh, let's probably discard the inn. Not sure if that's the correct decision here. So, needless to say, I have 20 rats in my deck and I'm very happy. And the more of them I can turn into these places this turn, the better it is. And yeah, he can he can gain any reds now and <clears throat> fishing village and what like market or something? In honestly, in is really weird. All right, now some of you are gonna go back into the pile. Oh, he should definitely discard the displays, uh, and that's actually slightly annoying, but I think it doesn't really matter. I'll just go through all of those. Uh, I don't want to return the fishing villages, just want to play them. Uh, actually, playing a necro normally would have been a consideration. Uh, 
Oh, wait a second. Uh, yeah, I screwed up. Uh, I... It should have been it should have been like a conspirator or a market or something like that. I I did screw up a little bit. That's okay. Whatever. Yep. I just don't want to give him any rats and actions. Now I might try and get a little bit more. Uh, terminal space for these displaces like ironmonger will pretty much do uh, like ironmonger conspirator uh, yeah that looks pretty good okay um I don't know, I don't think it matters. So what's up with the piles? Mm. Actually fleet goes very nicely with the with the rats. Because you can first pile the rats and then get the points. Not sure if that matters. So this turn, this turn I should be able to get the whole bunch of good cards. I'm gonna, yeah, I made a mistake the last turn. I, I played this necro as a horse and that was bad. And also I, I don't really see a way for him here. I just, I just need to not screw up. I, I mean, I'm definitely able of, you know, screwing it up, but, um, it would be hard. <laughs> it's not at this place. So yeah, I get it. He got uh, he has a couple of golds. So that's one thing that's going for him because golds are good with these places and whatnot. But I don't think it's nearly enough of a thing. I should get a fleet or rather sooner than later. Maybe not on this turn, but let's discard the rat. Play that. Play some conspirators. Uh we'll keep the necro for now. <laughs> That's an amazing rat's kingdom. All right, um, so this place, this place, now this place. Do I even want to play this envoy? Mm. I just honestly I just think it doesn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> uh wait a sec. I I either play it or I uh destroy it. Uh let's go with more money, I think. <laughs> I really love this board. All right, uh, 
even more money or should i get a uh damn it counting is hard as usual okay um so this unway needs to go now it's fine <laughs> that's a nice one <laughs> All right, let's get the fleet. Uh, I, I I don't think I need it quite yet, but let's get it. And let's just get more stuff. I mean, if he wants to start going for provinces, let him. I can get more. Uh, let's discard his fishing village. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. So he starts bronze in here, all right. Uh, He maybe wants to. He really wants to displace his province now. Let's discard that. And he probably buys a fleet now. Yeah, that's what he does. All right. Well, let's go. Uh, should I play the other way? Yeah, why not? Uh, definitely playing this necro as necro. This turn I'm not quite sure I'm getting the, all the rats back. <laughs> uh, rats, let's discard that. It's a bad card. Uh, all right. Well, uh, so I have options here. I ha I can I can start getting green. Uh, so I believe uh, five. I probably have more displaces. I have another displace, I think. Uh, so what can I do? I can get three golds and then get three provinces and then buy two more provinces. I think it's just the way to go here, right? Yeah, it looks very good to me. Oh, wait a second. I kind of miscounted that slightly. Uh, yeah, I, I I, thought I had another displace, but it's still okay, I guess. Uh, I don't really need to play this market.
Mm, but I might just to uh, just to do what? Well, I, I guess I'm just getting two provinces and like a fishing village, because it's, you know I can just uh, horse it away. <clears throat> mm, let's discard his envoy. Maybe he didn't need it anyway, but I, I don't know. Actually, he's gonna... I, I kind of feel like he's going to have the hard time even getting to his provinces, to ta uh, even taking those two provinces here. Hmm... Maybe he needed to horse this in. Oh, well, I guess he does have enough. Uh, Provence State or something, yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, I should be able to just get all of those dashes, right? Uh, do I still want to play Ironmonger normally? Yeah, I, I think I... I think I should have enough... Uh, displays targets. Uh, need to uh, return the fishing villages. It's okay. Uh, how many these places do I have? Well, I guess I'm kind of forced to play this necro as a horse. Uh, yep. All right. Now, uh, <laughs> I really like this game. I really like this one. That was like a really good one. Uh, yeah, I mean, try and beat that. All right. Yeah, GG. Um, and good news, it was my second player actually. So, so far doing pretty great. I'm leading four to one and uh, gonna be the first player in this last one. And while we are looking at the kingdom pile, I'm gonna be right back.
All right. So, what's going on with this one? Uh, it's a governor game, apparently. You can trash with Puka and with Old Witch. <laughs> so, yeah, there is a way to um, to kill the copper curses, I guess. Is university worth it? I, I have a bad split kind of right because i think uh you you want to open with a potion or you can take the old witch uh hmm I kind of feel like uni is pretty important. So probably... Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you do that. You bowl for like potion and board, which is probably better than just getting a potion. And then you get a patrician with that for no reason. Or maybe it's just a puka. Uh, I don't know. I'll try. I'll try to do it this way. Uh, it can lead to a number of set draws where you don't hit the two end uh, potion, uh, <laughs> and it probably will. Well, I don't really need the ports. Probably silver is just better for me. Probably I should have been I should have been getting a stupid silver instead of this port. All right, that was fine though. That should be a puka. Gets the ports, gets the puka. Uh, it's kind of funny that I'm not I'm not actually sure that old witch is good here because I mean what am I saying? It's 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 definitely still good, right? And I don't think I want to spend uh, to get another curse for a pair of ports. <laughs> Tell you what, I've never seen psychomatic playing this fast. So he gets an old witch as well. Let's see what we can draw here. Here's the witch, that's pretty good. Uh, so let's... Do I, do I want a third old witch? Do you start with the governors already? I think I want to get another old witch and buy more villages this turn. Well, sadly, sadly that would involve playing this cursed gold, but I think I kind of need to do it. Another uni or just the ports? Hmm. 
Let's get the ports, I don't know. He's likely to play his old witch here. He only has one, no. Okay, apparently he bottom decked it. So I'm kind of likely to give him the whole lot of curses here, which is very good. Uh, we're just gonna get the governors now. And that looks extremely good for me. Uh, just you need those governors and keep keep drawing, right? Oh my god. <laughs> those are some nice draws here. Uh, I think I'm okay to get rid of the cursed gold here uh, into the ground market. Yeah. And probably I want to draw further because those last cards are garbage. Yeah, I think I think I do want to draw more. Uh, obviously, Trashin might be uh, extremely generous for him if he had uh, uh, Cursed Gold there, but he didn't, so that's very really good. Gets a tunnel, which which is a little bit weird, but oh well. All right, a bit more cards. And I think it's just the governor. I do have three unis. I'm. I don't think I really need more. Yeah, governor looks good. And that's an amazing start in hand. He might give me the rest of the curses, but oh well, it's okay. Uh, he didn't do that. All right. Uh, oh, wait a second, actually, <laughs> uh, I kind of like, forgot that, you know, the piles are kind of low. I might be in trouble. <laughs> oh my god, that would be terrible. Um, let's keep drawing. I have this grand market, I can't lose. I didn't get the gold. Uh, well, I feel like I need to draw no matter what. Find this Puka. Maybe there was uh, something to do here. Maybe there was a way to maybe win there, but... Uh... I feel like getting this Garner is a little bit sketchy. How many, actually, how many governors does he have? One, two, three, four, I do have four, so he has three. Mm, he can pro, the bad thing is he can probably draw quite some. Uh, I think maybe I just screwed it up terribly. Uh, that probably means I need to maximize my points this turn. If he thing is if he's piling out, 
he he'll take the garners anyway, right? Uh, I'll be if I get the garner, I'll be able to double price. I think I need to do that. Yeah, let's kill this potion, right? So then I have enough. Oh, never mind. I, I... <laughs> like, what am I? What am I talking about? I do have the whole lot of. I completely miss. Counted. I do have the whole bunch of. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven. He only has one gardener. Oh my god! Why am I so silly? Um. So one, two, uh, three, and draw and double price. All right. <clears throat> so. He might be able to pile on me here and that would be uh well that would be a very well deserved win for him because i kind of yeah i just i just went for it and uh maybe that was uh that was not very smart. But he can't. I should be able to do it you know, easily. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, so. Uh, really good one for me. Uh, it's a f uh, I, we ended up uh, doing it at uh, five one. <clears throat> and yeah, so the first the first match of the season, I I, I played. Uh, Five one as well, but I was on the receiving side this time, so I, uh, this one kind of negated uh, the first uh, the first one. So that's good. I, I'm still doing pretty fine. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and see you in the next one.